This is the St. Augustine City Gate. It's what most tourists see when coming into town, and it's right across the street from the Castillo de San Marcos, the Spanish fort. It's been the subject of photographers from early on. This photo dates somewhere in the 1860s. It was built of plastered coquina stone and stands 24 and a half feet high. It was built in 1808. Here's one of those stereoscopic cards that were once popular showcasing historic places from around the world. It's also been the subject of many of those Florida postcards where you could brag to your relatives about your exotic trip to Florida. Painters have also found these gates to be a good, strong subject. I've been wanting to paint this for several years, so I drove downtown and took a few reference photos and decided on this one. I have a roll of oil-primed linen canvas supplied to me by the Jack Richardson Company and stretched a 30 by 30 inch canvas. I began another painting on this canvas earlier but abandoned it, so I'm painting over that one. Worked out pretty good though because the tonal quality was similar. I sketched the composition using a soft pastel pencil. The richest look I can get with my paints is by using transparent colors, so I most always begin with them. I stay away from using white for as long as I can. It was an overcast, rainy day when I took my reference photograph, which is the look I was going for. I thought that might give the painting a more historic quality instead of something in bright sunlight. I put down the large areas first, getting those big shapes in, which gives me the foundation to work from. After they're in place, I can begin with more details and refinements. Working with negative areas gives the trees a solid but somewhat airy look near the top. These columns were painted in a middle tone value, and then I worked them in both directions, adding subtle lights and darks being careful not to damage that overall middle tone. These gates, being as tall as they are, really required some uh, reference to scale here, so putting in a few people walking through the gate was essential. So, there you have it, it's the St. Augustine City Gate. I hope you'll tune in to your local PBS television station and watch our nationally broadcast series, Painting and Travel with Roger and Sarah Bansomer.